Look at all that mud. He knows something's up when two vehicles show up. Trucks and tractors out here. Hey, big guy. Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. Gonna start something fun. I don't know if it's gonna be very fun or not. I've gotta get the feeder out of here, the bunk feeder. I've had it in here since very beginning of June, so we're right out of month. Bison are up here hanging out in the mud and whatnot. It's a little warm outside. It looks like it's about to rain. Well, I hear Brooks. I've got Marissa and Brooks out here with me driving my truck. I've got the tractor. Well, I need the tractor because if you watch when I put this out, all the weight was in the front and the hitch was so low off my truck, I couldn't get the jack underneath it anymore. So I'm gonna use this tractor to lift it up and then I'm gonna get my truck and pull it out of here. It is a sloppy mess right now because we've had so much rain, but everybody's gonna be mad at me for sure because I'm gonna take this out of here. When they've got this feed out here, they don't really they're not interested when I have cubes or when I bring the ATV out. Can't move them or anything because they have feed, they're not in the mood. It, why do I need to come to a cattle cube when you got the bunk feeder? Because they've had this blend, the feed that we always feed, um, for a while now. Remember I use this to push females, to try to get them started in the heat early. Now, all of them have calves. They're almost two months old now. Calves are all doing good and they should be easy to move. But I'm doing all this because I'm gonna start swapping them out. That is the whole purpose of this. I've got to get this out so I can move the bison around. The fun part, like I said, we're gonna start swapping our females in and out, mixing with our bulls. That should be really fun, actually. Never done this before, but I got Big Joe, I got Dunbar. I've got to bring Dunbar and this herd up, get them in our corral system, sort them out using our corral system, and move them back to different pastures with the new bull. So I'm a little nervous about it, to be honest with you, Eleanor, covered in mud. I like it. It's a good look. She looks really good, by the way. She's uh, This is the best she's looked in a while. There's the man right there. The big guy. Yeah, you've been laying and playing in the mud, haven't you? Look at all that mud. He knows something's up when two vehicles show up. Trucks and tractors out here. Hey, big guy. They're gonna be off a of feed for about three days. But those three days, they'll be craving those cubes again. And so that'll be our way to move them. So we're gonna go in here and try to get this guy out of the way so we can get that feeder. I'm gonna need you to move, okay? All right, appreciate it. You got lots of flies on you.
say hi. Much safer in a truck. Got the pin hitch on. I think that's high enough for this truck. Look how much weight. Cracked my little concrete block. So much for that. Let's see these backup skills. Nah, just keep coming. Watch your camera. Oh yeah, we're gonna be plenty. Okay, hold on, hold on. You can't see the camera? This thing needs some grease on it. What happens when it sits out in the pasture? Uh. Slow. Hold on. Needs to be a little higher. Okay, come on back. Yep, whoa. Pull forward an inch. A little bit, oh. Okay. What are you doing? Should you be playing with that? Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Should you be playing with that? Okay, back up. Slide over, sit with her. What do you got, Good babe? Think, Brooks. Good time to do this, in Brooks. <laughs> So here's the feed bunk that I had in the big pasture with the Dunbar herd. I'm, uh, I did a little bit of spraying, but I've, uh, I'm gonna put the bunk in here with the yearlings. We've got a lot of feed and a month is a, has been enough to flush those females and get them into breeding season a little early. I just wanted to <laughs> show this to you guys. This is, this is how, how much our bison are used to people is right here. And, and having a tractor and whatnot out here is uh these these three i raised these right here since they were babies they were born on this place but i just think it's funny that uh they didn't even move when i come out here so used to it. i can be good and it can be bad but i, I like to say it's pretty good i go check that out i think you'll like it oh well, now you get up there's a big green box in here wonder what's in it that's where i'd be going